Hi Lexington family. Um, this is again my monthly highlight video. I can't believe we already made it through another month. So this is our highlight video for April. Had a lot of things happening around here. A lot of activities, extracurricular activities are continuing to be very successful. I want to say congratulations to our one act play who uh, made it to the state competition. Uh, wonderful, wonderful performance yesterday at state and we're waiting today to find out the results of of that competition but really doesn't matter in the end exactly what it comes out to be these guys are all winners uh, to us they had wonderful performances and represented the district well also want to say congratulations to those that are competing this weekend at the academic uil state competition it's amazing all of the hard work and the talent that has been developed um, by our competitors at the high school campus. So congratulations and good luck to those guys that are competing this weekend. Next week we have two individuals from the high school campus that will be competing at our state track meet. Congratulations to those guys. Good luck next week. We're so excited to see you in Austin uh, competing at the state level uh, in track. And then we also have some FFA teams who have been competing at the state level as well are all being very successful. We're so proud of all of those teams um, and just want to say congratulations. It's been a great year. Our, um, our student body has done a wonderful job of representing the district and giving their all and everything, every activity that they're involved in. And we're so excited uh, for all of them. We're very proud of all of them and we're thankful for um, their hard work and their diligence in competition. Um, just to give you a little update on facilities, we're not out at the facilities today because it is raining and so we thought we'd just do a quick update here for you. Uh, our cafeteria is nearing completion. We'll be finished with that just in a couple of weeks. Uh, we have uh, the serving lines going in this week. Everything is painted. We have our tile down. A wonderful big L right in the middle of the floor. Everything looks great. We're excited about getting you all in there. So the next time we do a video at the end of uh, May, we'll actually be able to take you through that facility, let you see the finished product. Um, we're, we're super excited about getting in there and starting to use that space. We will use it at the end of the year for our uh, employee breakfast. Um, let everybody come in and see that and, and enjoy that space. And then we'll start the year off feeding our secondary kids in that space next year. Um, our facility, our MEC that we're referring to, which is our multi-event center just south of town, that will be finished by August the 1st. They have started painting um, in that area. The offices are being painted right now, and they've actually started uh, painting the area around the stage and in the auditorium space. Um, and so we'll be able to show you that at the end of the month, end of next month as well. But it will be next year before we actually start that project, uh, start using that project. Uh, the new classrooms that are being converted from the old cafeteria or our current cafeteria, that will not actually begin until June the 7th. And so we will not be able to take um, ownership, I guess, of that space or start using that space until mid-September. So we'll start the year um, where we are now and then we'll take over. But everything is going as planned. It looks great. We're, we're really excited about how that project is, is taking shape. Just a reminder that we have a school board election going on right now. Um, Saturday is election day, May 1st, and I encourage all of you to get out. I want to remind everyone that if you live in our district, you are able to vote in the school board elections. We have three um, candidates running for two positions. And so um, it's very important that your voice and your input is heard by the district. And so I encourage you to go out on Saturday, enjoy the homecoming festivities in Lexington and go by and vote for school board and also for city council. Um, we do have today a COVID update. We have one new COVID case in the district at the elementary campus. The case comes from uh, someone who was already uh, remote and was not on campus, so there was no close contact issues, but we do currently have that one case. That is the only case that we have uh, in the district at this time, and so we will continue to monitor those things and, and watch for new cases, but we're excited to say things are going really well, 
and we are hoping to finish the year on a great note. Um, we do um, have a little bit of, of issues with some of the stuff the state's doing and some of the requirements they're um, having for us this last six weeks. They're going to base our funding for the last six weeks on the percentage of in-person participation that we have by students or in-person attendance that we have. And so for this last six weeks, our goal is to have at least 92% of our students on campus learning with us so that we can continue to receive the appropriate amount from the state um, for uh, state funding purposes. We also sent out a, a couple of weeks ago a letter asking you to complete our free and reduced lunch forms um, for this year. We are still urging you, if you haven't done that, to please do that for us. We want to make sure that we give the state accurate numbers so that we can get our fair compensation from them on our free and reduced um, applicants and um, economically disadvantaged numbers. We'll ask you to do that again at the beginning of the year, um, but the what we're asking for right now will impact this year's budget, and so we ask for you to do that. There's a lot of talk right now about the money that the federal government has sent down, new money uh, for school districts. It's being referred to as the ESSER three funds, and we just found out for sure that we were getting those yesterday. Um, and we will be looking at exactly how those funds will be spent. There are strings attached, as always, when money comes from the government. So we'll be learning um, exactly how those funds can be spent, what they can be used for, and then how we will document that over the next three years. If you have specific questions about that, I'd be happy to answer any questions anyone has. Um, and most of it will come as we continue to learn and make plans for exactly what those funds will be used for. Uh, that's all that I have for you today. I encourage you to uh, follow our district calendar on our website to check in on things that are still happening. I want to say good luck to our softball team as they start the playoff run uh, tomorrow with their first playoff game. Um, that will be in Bryan, um, and I encourage all of you to come out and support them, watch them play. Good luck to you girls on that game. If I can do anything to help you or your student, or if the district can answer any questions or provide information for you, please do not hesitate to contact us. We're happy to help. That's what we're here for. Um, we've got one month left. We're getting ready to finish everything up in May. We're excited that we're here and that we are being able to finish this year on a positive note. Uh, next week is Teacher Appreciation, Staff Appreciation Week, so I encourage you to let our staff know, uh, those that have done great things for your kids this year, just let them know how much you appreciate them. We've worked really hard uh, to make sure that we were doing everything we could every day for your kids. And then um, graduation's coming up on May 21st, and we wish our seniors the very, very best um, as they go out to conquer the world and, and to, to do great things um, out in the real world. If there's anything I can do for you, please contact me. Have a great month, and we'll have a new highlight video at the end of May. Thanks.